Yeah, this is this is like the, um, you know, the, I'm gonna say this isn't the official tutorial. This is the uh, pre-announcement stream to the tutorial, which will be finalized sometime in 2028. I couldn't even be bothered to set up the uh, the cropping correctly, but you know. You know, I, I, I kind of just now noticed on YouTube vids. So these vids are all 480p, I think. But here's mine. It's actually stretched like... It's like 1.3 times the size of this video, which is allegedly the same resolution. I don't know why YouTube vids are randomly... Some are randomly differently sized than others. Um, that's, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, so these are the same size. Until you hit greens, which is even bigger than mine, somehow. Yeah, this is just some ghetto tutorial, Punjabi. I'll... I'm just doing this so I kind of, at a later time, I will make a okay production quality tutorial. The real reason I'm doing this is just so I can watch my run again, because, you know, it's so good. <coughs> For, I just want to say, it's actually really funny, the... Uh, the videos, like I logged out of my Google account. It's pretty interesting the videos you get recommended when you don't have an account. Like, uh, though I, I, it's for some reason the next video to my War 25 here is Alex Anderson, Frigate Secret Agent 106. I thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know. Some random sports videos, uh, sushi video, uh, John Oliver, yeah, I don't know. Well, all right, let's just, let's get the pre-tutorial beta version stream started, I suppose, with cropping I refuse to fix. Let me watch this. All right. So I guess this uh, when I actually make a real tutorial, it would have to be for 27, 26, 25. Uh, 27, you can do without boosting. And I would almost recommend doing it without boosting, but... The first four boosts, like if you have, if you've played Goldeneye or Perfect Dark for more than five minutes, uh, there's really no reason not to do them. I guess before the boost, you cut the cinema anytime after you hear the explosion that's uh, there. Anytime from here on, you can start. I just start here because, you know, the. Uh, Cute alien sounds. I'm gonna start doing these boosts as fast as you can. Um, you have to hold, if you're upright or reverse, you have to hold up or down. You have to hold it on the stick. The people watching this know, but you know, one day I assume there'll be noobs watching the real tutorial version of this. Yeah, it's a, it's a really weird mechanic. You have to hold all the way up or all the way down the entire time you're boosting. You know, people love it. It's such a such a good mechanic. Uh, anything else right here? Let's see. You know, it's actually funny. It's something I didn't know, and Ace Ace had to point this out to me after I got 27. I I haven't I hadn't played Perfect Dark in such a long time. I didn't realize that um. When you switch to the secondary function, like I'm on the uh, 
you know, explosive shells. I didn't realize that it, it, it saves that from attempt to attempt. So I would always switch it every run. Until Ace pointed out to me one day that uh, that's, uh, that's not how that goes, mate. Same thing for the Mauler. So, um, that's pretty stupid. I might be the only person in the history of speedrunning this game who didn't realize that. Now that I think about it. But you know, since 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 this is a meme stream for Punjabi, let me see if I can. You know, if you spend eight hours an eight hour session and you didn't get twenty six, even though you can get twenty six paces, I'm kind of trying to think like what what it would be that would stop you. I mean, I mean the door never opens. That's true, but. I'm not, I'm not sure what would I mean I this this laptop literally can't handle thousand year door it can't handle the emulator and the stream I don't think it could even handle the emulator honestly otherwise I probably would paper Mario is more my speed of gaming I could probably stream Paper Mario 64 on Project 64. <laughs> I might do that sometime. Probably not today. I might do that, though. I honestly had no... I wasn't going to stream, but I turned on the stream for, you know, the meme for Punjabi here. I had quite a few people. I had, there's Punjabi. There's Alchemaz. Has having trouble with 26. Um, there's someone else. They're having a time with it. It really shouldn't be too bad. I'm not sure if Punjabi's problem is pace when the doors open or just not. Or I don't know. I'm trying to remember what the problems are when, when you're not god tier, you know, like I am. Wow, it's my boy Cam K eighty six. All right, okay, both of those are not too bad. Okay, so pace. The thing about pace, there's two things about pace. I could say or three. Um, the first one would be. I'm, I'm assuming you're not messing up the first four boosts. Like, I don't think anybody could really mess that up. These ones, um, I don't know what time, if you've ever watched back your runs, what time you're getting to the hole. Um, you want to be getting... I mean, for 26, you can get like a 6 point, like 6 or something, or 7 even, but... If you're getting like 7s, you're doing something really bad. Yeah, okay, if you can get 6.5, don't worry about it for 26. For 25, you'd want to be getting, like... Unless you're Madoka, you'd want to get, like... Theoretically, I think, like, Human Max, you can get, like, a flat 6. Um, I suck, and I think my best is, like, 6.2 flat. Maybe 6.18 or something. I do the strat really dumb, though. I mean, if you can get 6.5, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, just take this line. Some people go right up against this wall as soon as they get through the hole. I don't know why. Instead of taking a good line to this corner here. This uh, this wall is my least favorite wall. No, that's not true. It's one of my least favorite walls in, in the world. Uh, you probably know. The thing, the thing about... This is actually probably one of the biggest things for pace, and it's so annoying. I'm sure you're aware by now. This wall is like one huge stuck to the left, and you can't run along it or else you'll get stuck and your run's over. It's really it's really awkward to um, do this turn 
and get on a 45 degree angle to the next wall. Uh, when I first started this, because I didn't know, I was trying to get a reference point. Like, you know, there's no reference point if you're going this way of when to turn, really. So I would just turn like 90 degrees against this wall. And I would just boost along it because you get the visual cue of when to turn. That loses like 0.7. Um, that's uh, really... For pace, that might be the biggest thing that people could do. And you wouldn't think it loses time, but it does. It loses a ton of time. Like, uh, it's it's a lot better to overturn and go this way than to underturn and boost along the wall. I mean, ideally, you know, you, you get the 45 degree angle, but that doesn't happen every time because the wall's really gay. Yeah. Some people do the first boost, like, way too early when you land, and I think it ends up back boosting them. Like there's two, three, four. Let me see something. It's pretty funny. I, I never developed a visual cue for this. I just, I guess you could use the shadow, but for pace, it really doesn't matter too much where you end up here, honestly. When you go around this corner, you want like. What is this a point? Wow, point f like a point five or six is really nice. For twenty six, you can get away with any thirteen. I would say is what you want. So I'd go back and watch your runs and see if you're getting thirteen every time, or almost every time when you're going around this corner. Like even thirteen point nine is absolutely fine. You know, God gamers, you know, for low fourteens are okay. Going around this guy to the right, lose. I think Swiss does that and gets 25, and it blew my mind when I watched the run. I didn't. I, th I thought it lost way too much time to go around the guy to the right. And I still think it does for like a normal player, if you're not, you know, Swiss tier. Like, you really need to go to the left of that guy, to be honest. So this thing, a lot of people messed, okay, this is, I guess this is one of the things you said. Getting the gun, this area right here, a lot of people mess up, from what I've seen. A lot of people, the, the main problem people have here, is you YOLO it way, way too hard for no reason. Um, that's actually probably the main thing. You go see up, you see... Some people, they, 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 they try to do C up for like one frame and shoot and go back into the strafe. And there, there's really no reason to do that. I mean, I'm, I see up almost this entire hallway and easily get 25. So the thing about the mauler and killing the guy, you want to see up very liberally. You want to... You want to wait for the auto-aim to get on the guy right in his face. Like, there's no reason to YOLO shoot. Uh, I always found the auto-aim works a little better if you're aiming kind of low when you turn the corner. It works faster. That could just be, you know, a myth of some kind. The thing about getting the mauler to... Some people, for, for whatever reason, they run... They try to run into the guy to get the gun, but that's, I think that's not, it's, that's just not a very good strategy. You want to, you want to go this way. You want to go, you want to hug the left wall. You don't want to, you don't want to think about the gun. You'll get the gun a lot more often if you hug, if you go away from him and hug the wall. Don't run into the explosion in an attempt to increase the odds, you get it. And don't go around to the right either. Uh, I mean, sometimes he just throws the gun, you know, through a portal to hell. But usually, 
if you shot correctly, if you if you see up right, and you shot him straight on in the face, and you didn't try to YOLO shoot him on strafe, and do strafe along this wall on the left side here, you'll pick up the gun like almost every time. I mean, sometimes you get trolled, but I mean that 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 it dramatically increases the odds if you do those things. Another tip for pace, the super the super ace pro tip for this level is when you turn this corner, you want I don't do it here. And who is who does? Is it boss? Maybe I don't know. Let's see. Boss is high IQ enough to uh, do something like this. Nice. You know, I, I just want to compliment Boss right here on this. This line is fucked, and he's like one pixel off from this not working, so... What, what a god. Uh, yeah, Boss does it. Yeah, you have to, you have to like, it's really awkward movement. Nah, this isn't like a real tutorial. This is like the preview, pre-announcement stream to the tutorial. I was just trying to give Punjabi some tips, and I'm kind of realizing I don't have any. I made the croppings not even, like... <laughs> yeah, I was just telling him the super ace pro tip. Though when you turn this corner, you have to be here... Not here. Uh, what am I doing? I think this stuck for this, you know. The stuck for the, uh, where am I at here? Yeah, the stuck for this. I just want to, you know, say, check this masterful movement here. You know, war connoisseurs know that the stuck here comes out to about here. Maybe like even about the middle of this tile. Just, just check this masterful movement from like here. See, I, I would have got stuck, but I move like one pixel to the right and then, you know, readjust. Now look at that masterful movement. The thing about pace here, um, for the longest time, long-time viewers in my stream, they know that uh, they know that I would screw up the ending every single time I got a run. Because the door never opens, and I never practiced it. And I would often complain there's no way to practice the ending, and that's kind of true. What I, would, what I would do is I would pretend the door was open after a certain point, and I would, do, I would do these inputs. I would do this turn, this turn, and then this turn. I would just run into the door when it's closed and do those inputs, and it sounds dumb, but... That's what actually finally got me 25. Is doing those three turns every single attempt. Even though the door's closed. You lose a lot of time. This could also be another, like, pace ruining moment. First of all, you always want to aim for the middle of this door. Because it can be open halfway. Like, uh... Jez's run does it. Yeah, like you can get this where the door's barely open. So, I mean, always aim for the middle of the door. And you really want to, like, like, this seems like such a dumb thing to point out. 
if you end up here and not here, like if you end up over here when you turn, you lose like 0.4. Like this, not turning as hard as you can here loses so much time. I, I, I honestly don't know why, but it loses an insane amount of time if you don't do these turns. If you don't see this wall when you turn, if you're not right up against it, you're losing. So, yeah, so that's actually kind of the hardest. I think it's the hardest thing about the level. I don't think this starts the hardest part. I think this is for me. The first thing you want to do, when I said a minute ago about practicing the three turns even when the door's closed, I think that's really essential to getting the ending down. Because you kind of just want to go into autopilot mode. Um, you want to be you want to be straight on pretty much on this too. Like the key is to get really consistent about where you're at right here. You always want to be at this corner pretty much, you know, straight on. You know, if you don't if you don't practice the turns, you're going to be here, here, and you know this line's so wonky. You you just screwed up every time. You know, I was doing that for a long time. This line, I was I was always kind of confused about to this day about what what you're looking for here. What what do I do here? That's actually like about perfect, honestly. You wanna you can just boost along this and it works. There's a small chance. You get stuck on this thing. I don't know what you call that, but the thing that sticks out you get stuck on. I'm, I'm sure we all know what it, what it is. But um, yeah, to be safe, you can boost. For 26, you can boost like between these two lines in a straight line. And you don't lose too much time that way. You'll lose like 0.2 or something, but maybe 0.3. Optimally, you get like a really weird angle. It's like it's not a ninety degree angle, but you're you're like ever so slightly facing the left for twenty. Yeah, for, for, for twenty six. Honestly, if you can if you can pace nineteen, I would yeah I would say don't do the boost. If you can get like, I think you I think you told me you got like a point three something to the end. If you can get it point threes, point fours to the end, I mean, just don't do them. That's the best tip, honestly. Because I mean, these are real. This is the hardest part of a level, in my opinion. Do I get stuck here? No, I. No, I don't. I'm too good. I really don't. The thing about me making a real tutorial would be. I'm really bad at this part. So first of all, when you if you're at, if you're boosting, let's do I do do I do it here? You look up. I, I'm not sure where I'm at right here. When you boost and you look up, you won't a lot of the time you won't see the wall to your right. Um, what do, what do you do? There's like a line. Well, I I see it now, but. You can kind of see the line where you need to turn. Like I've had a, I had a bunch of 26s where I was like here and I, I couldn't see the wall at all. And you just kind of, I mean you probably know that, but. You know if you watch the 20, I, I don't have any 26s pulled up, but one of the biggest time differences between 25 and 26, if anybody ever wanted to go for it, is how you do this shot. The 26 is almost all. They'll go straight on. Like from here to here to here. And shoot the king. I mean that's pretty consistent. But it loses like. 0.3. Maybe even 0.4. To an optimal run. Almost nobody has an optimal run right here. The, you know the secret. If anyone ever went for 24. This, this area. You'd have to be a master of this shot. Like, I could... You know, I actually went and timed the endings on this when I was actually going to... Uh, 
Yeah, dude, Madoka's run's fake. That's another thing. Madoka gets stuck for like 10 years on the on the part of the wall it sticks out and still gets a point six. He gets stuck one time, two times, I think three times. He has to go around a skadar scatter, as some people might say. And he still gets like a mid decimal. It's it's it, it makes no sense. The one place Madoka saves a ton of time on everybody is right here. I think my run is like a frame faster than his to right here. But I lose about 0.25, I think. I timed it out to be on just this segment to Madoka. I should have pulled up his run. He, I, th I think he has the best shot on the king. Uh -huh. And me and green are tied for the worst. I want to say I autistically timed them all out. Green ha Green has a reason for being bad. Green did the retard strategy. Uh, do I have his run? Yeah, okay. Green's run might be the best one to the whole. Let's see. Well, no, that's an 18.7 something, I think. You know, very, very nice pace. But then Green does something really dumb. He um, he does one boost, two boost, three boost, four boost, five boost, and he doesn't pull out the gun. When you do five boost, you don't pull out the gun until you're here, right? And the problem he runs into is that the gun doesn't charge when he has the king. Like, he can shoot now, but he can't, because the gun's not charged. So he has to wait a bunch of extra frames to shoot the guy. I mean, maybe he does... Until, what, uh, now? Yeah, he pretty much shoots this, uh, like the, almost the frame he can. You know, he, cl he clutched it out. But this ending is very slow. It's the slowest... This shot is the slowest one. I think it's tied with me for a worse shot. I don't have an excuse for being bad. I'm just very bad at the shot. I wish I had Madoka's run pulled up. Who has a good shot on the king here? You know, Jez's is pretty bad too, but the thing about Jez, I think Jez has the same problem that Green had. You know, you know the thing is, I'm glad that Madoka, me, and Swiss brought back the classy two boost ending. Like, these, these kids were doing, like, degenerate four or five boost endings that actually lost time. You know, the, it, you know, it, it's just very low IQ gaming. I don't know what to say. One, two, three. Jez does four. He may have, it may have been charged. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Jez still kind of saves it. He didn't take the best turn, but. That's not very, it's not. Optimal, though, you know. I mean, mine's the worst, but still. Well, what do we got? Analyze the 26. Duh. Hang on a sec. I, I have to... Uh... Let me see something. I gotta, like, redo this right quick. All right, well, we'll analyze this 26, and then, uh, I don't know if I actually want to stream, like, seriously today. I might tomorrow. Uh, let's see, 26 MW. Okay. Yeah. Insane cropping, to be honest. All right, so here, here's, here's, here's the goss, boys, on this twenty-six. Now this touch, this isn't even a tutorial. It's just, it's just I'm bored, and you know we're watching war vids, pretty much. 
I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna watch this twenty six and probably in stream. And then I'll actually make like a real tutorial sometime soon. Anyways, which uh yeah, see you mate. Uh let's see. Okay, that's okay. Hang on, wait, wait, wait a minute. Did you make the, the first mistake of war? Two, three, four. No, actually, I, I think that was okay, right? Yeah, it's okay. I, th I thought I saw something really bad, but... I mean, you can do that start better, but... I mean, anything sub 6.5 is fine, honestly. I mean... Like, no big deal, to be honest. Pretty good line there. I don't like how early you do that boost right here, but I don't think it really matters, honestly, too much. Two, three, four. Yeah, you do, you do that good, too. This is a really good run to this point. You seem to have the knowledge. Some people, you do, you know, you do the last boost here, and then they'll do another one while turning. That's uh, really bad, but you don't do that. You you want to turn, you get the line, and you keep boosting, which you do here. You're in a pretty good spot too. You're you're on you're on a pretty good line. So um, this is a thirteen seven flat for twenty five. That's basically the max you can have, really. I think boss has a thirteen seven corner, and he squeezes out like. Oh, the, the highest, I think he gets the highest decimal you can, 25, with a really nice ending. So, I mean, yeah, you can do about point, you could, you could do like point, you can get 13, 2, 13, 1, maybe max corners. You could save, like I said, you could get. You get thirteen one. You get a six point one something hole. I mean, you do just masterful boosts in the hallway. I've got a third. I've gotten a couple of thirteen twos. So and I suck. So I'm gonna guess thirteen one is out there for somebody. But yeah, for twenty five, you really want to be getting thirteen. I'll say thirteen five flat. Or lower. 13.6 might work. I don't know. 13.7, it's really hard to make a 13.7 work unless you're a god gamer. Yeah, so, yeah, this is one of. The, so, there's nothing you could really do here, I don't think. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's any way you could have got around the guy to the left. Mate, well. Hmm. I mean, you, yeah. I think you just got trolled here. I mean, for 25, you wouldn't do this. This loses a ton of time. This loses, like, point... Going around this way loses, you know, like, point three or something. But I don't think you had much of a choice in this situation. So that's an easy point three time save or something. Let's see. You get the good placement... I don't I don't think any of the 25s have him here. You Let's see. Uh nice pickup. Is this is stuck. That's that's kind of a shame. <laughs> that happens a lot though. I feel like this stuck happens when um what what happens is you you're too close to the guy. I mean, there's not there's nothing you could do about it because he he was in the middle of the hallway. You gotta really really um really he's standing in a weird spot, so you, there, there's no way you could like avoid the back boost. But the back boost is powerful here when you're close to him, and it slows you down to the point where you just run into this corner with your muscle memory. It happens to me all the time. So, I mean, that's another pretty free time save. If you get a normal placement. Skadar. Uh, you'd see you do the super ace pro tip. 
That's that's really nice. You go in the middle of the door. Uh, you get trolled again, it looks like here. Yeah, you get trolled again. But you recover pretty nicely. You don't do the boost. You don't have to do the boost. Let's see, do you turn pretty much at the... Yeah, you, you do the 26 shot and you, and you don't do the 25 shot. But there's no reason to do the 25 shot when you don't want 25. Nice boost. Uh, the YouTube player is blocking the decimal. Uh, you got trolled pretty hard, so I'd say it's probably point. Eight or nine or something. I don't know. You know, honestly, I see a ton of twenty. I, I think you already like understand everything you would need to understand for twenty-five. I think you just got trolled really bad this run. I mean, there, there's there's nothing in this run I would say you did poorly. I mean, like you know, a thirteen-seven corner. You need to improve that a little bit. Like, uh, I don't know. Is there any way you can realistically improve that? Okay, that's about perfect. Oh, okay, Here, here's where you lose point. I, I did this for the longest time. This is, this is like a point. This is like a point one. This is, I don't know, it's, it's really annoying when I watch this in retrospect. This loses like point one. Or point one five. I mean, it's not much, but you know, that could be the difference between a thirteen seven and a thirteen six and thirteen five. You do this boost while you're turning. Like, uh, whoops. I, I I don't even know where I'm disoriented. Where are we at? See, you're turning, and you do the boost while you're turning. That actually, that that's not good, mate. I did this for the longest time before I realized. So it looks like you've adopted my boosting strategy, which is a shame because it's not the best one. I, I, I don't, I don't know. It's probably about the same pace as the one everyone else uses. So the thing is, it's actually, you know, it's tricky. I mean, you probably can tell, but you want to get in, like, in the, I don't know what you call this, area. <laughs> you want to be completely turned before doing this boost. And that's like a point, that's an easy point one if you get consistent at it. Actually, hang on. Hang on a second. Let me, uh... Let me, uh... Do I do this in my 25? Or, or did I fix it by then? Let's, uh... I'll, I'll keep it on screen. I'll keep it on screen. I'll expose myself if, 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 I, do, if I do it here. You know, I, I just want to... I, I don't know why I didn't reset right here look how bad this line is like <laughs> that's just i don't know that's just it's really funny to me how how i'm really surprised i usually reset those i'm actually surprised i didn't reset here all right let's see one two three four yeah i fucking do it it looks like i i did it here kind of i don't think i did it as yeah it's actually really bad I do it even worse than. <laughs> yeah, don't do this. This is uh, I should have put that in the pre-tutorial bit. Don't do this. This is not good. <laughs> I just exposed myself on my own tutorial stream. What, what do I get here? Is it like six four? Yeah, I mean, I, I get the same decimal you did because I did the same thing. I did. I made the same mistake. This is yeah. This is a little slow for me. So I was I, I was kind of wondering watching it back originally why it's a little slow, and it's because I did the boost wrong. 
you know, this is why we need tutorials. You know, kids, you know, all the kids out there think, you know, Glover's the shittiest player. You know, he's probably the best to learn from. But then you pick up bad habits like terrible boosting. What's my what's my corner though? Let's 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 check it out. If it's thirteen seven, I'm gonna I'm gonna what what I did something here. Uh, yeah, put, get your preds in. It's, it's probably thirteen eight or something. Or this like debunks my whole tutorial. Yeah, thirteen four or thirteen. Yeah, thirteen four or something. So we me and MW get the same pace to the hole. Like the same exact pace to like almost a frame, but um, I say point three on this section here for some reason. Uh, why do I? Let's see if I can figure it out. This is just a really nice angle. I don't know what to say. Two, three. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what the difference is here, but yeah, I guess I guess you're kind of close to the wall here. Like if you can if you okay, okay, yeah, if you can see the wall, you're going to lose point 3. Like it, it it's always better when you're here. It's always better to overturn to to the left, then to underturn to the right. That's 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 point three every time. That's uh, that took me a long time to figure out. Yeah, if you watch the twenty fives, I don't think I don't. I'm not sure. If, I'm sure some of them do, but most of them either get a good line like um, I get. Like, you know, the, the 45 god line. Or, um... I think a few of them overturn to the left. Like, uh... I think Jez does that most notably. But yeah, overturning is better than underturning. Like, you can you can save an, under, an overturned run, but you can't save an... I don't... I don't you, you pretty much can't get 25 if you underturn. Like, for the longest time, I was getting horrible. I was getting, like, I was having a really hard time breaking 13-7 wall, you know, wall TTs. I, I, like, I never did it. And then I realized one day it's because I was boosting along the wall rather than boosting to the left. So that's, like, that's, that's kind of the major takeaway here. And I go around the guy I mean, other than that, I mean, you'd have to learn the ending boost there, which are really annoying, as viewers of my stream may know. And you have to, and you'd have to learn the the, the correct ending here, which I'd watch Madoka's run for that. Madoka has the best ending. Let me see something. I find for the shot what the best ones do. You take your crosshair, you put it on the bottom of this wall. You turn, you still keep it on the bottom of the wall. Um, I, I can't show it with your run. I probably don't do it because my shot's really bad. Let, let's see. I, I, unironically, I can't even see it. Um, because I pull out the gun late. Yeah. Yeah, you just want to be aiming. You want to be looking down. You want to be aiming pretty low when you make this turn. I think I'm aiming too low, but you want to be aiming at the bottom of this wall. I think the correct place to be aiming is here. You want to go like halfway to this monstrosity over here. I and mean, then you kind of just like aim up while turning, and that's the fastest way to get the shot done. Like, um, it's it, it's actually quite a bit faster than doing this. This loses like point three to doing that. But 
But yeah, mate, definite, uh, definite 25 potential, to be honest. I guess that's about it for the uh, pre-announcement, pre pre-detorial stream. I don't know what else I could really say unless somebody had any questions and I really doubt they would, so... I will, I will make the Hot Pocket tutorial cooking video eventually. Like, there's a really easy strat everyone overlooks. You know, I get perfect Hot Pockets every time out of the microwave. You know, every day I see, I see these memes every day about, oh, the Hot Pocket, you know, the, the core is ice cold, but the sides are burning hot or, you know, something like that. Like, I, I, I don't know, these people must, I don't know if I have even, even, even double digit IQ. I mean, microwaving Hot Pockets is an art. And, you know, I'm Picasso, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I don't. I don't even have the game set up. I was thinking about playing some War essay, but I don't even have the stuff plugged in to my laptop. So, uh, I'll stream something tomorrow. I'll either stream War essay or or I can stream Paper Mario sixty four emulated for Ace. You know. One of those two things will probably happen. So, you know. I'm going to go make... I'm, you know, I'm, I actually I have some... I actually bought some Hot Pockets yesterday. I'm probably going to go make one. You know, GG to be honest. That's all I can say. <laughs>